In this video, we're going to use Claude Desktop and the MCP servers, Model Context Protocol servers. I'm writing a Coolify server at the moment so it can interact with my Coolify server and I've got the GitHub MCP already attached to it. We have a look at how those MCP servers are attached to Claude Desktop and we have a quick look at what they can do together as well. It's fairly powerful, man. So I'm going to open up Claude Desktop. If you go to settings, in the developer section, look, so I've got these two MCP servers running. I've got GitHub and I've got Coolify. So this is the one that I'm creating at the moment. You can go into edit config. So what I've got to do is bring my config into here. So look, I'm declaring my MCP servers here. I've got Coolify, which is the one that I'm building now. And I've got the GitHub one. So the GitHub one lets me do loads of stuff. This is the MCP server that I'm creating for Coolify. I can list what's on there, I can list applications, get applications, start applications. And then you can see here, look, here's my MCP tools available. So we can do loads of stuff within GitHub, be careful. And we can do some, this will be Coolify ones here as well. How is my Coolify server getting on? So then that's gonna ask me just to stop like malicious stuff going on. I'm gonna say, yeah, go and list all my resources. And it should tell me what's running on my Coolify server. Running but unhealthy. We got assets generator and brain dump to blog. So can you take a closer look? Let's have a closer look at brain dump to blog and see if we can figure out why that's unhealthy. Right, so check it out. The health checks, it's not enabled. I want you to, let's take a look at the code base. Might be worth creating a new branch for a health check loop. New branch, adding a health check root and putting that into API. Right, so I've given it a bunch of stuff to do there. Let's see if it can do it. Create branch, add health check. Get file contents. See how it's figured out the roots file. API specific roots. It knows it's a Laravel application or it's figured it out. Create or update a file, roots, .a roots API. Now, the token that I've given Claude is a bit rich. So I'm a little bit on edge about what it's going to do here. No, it's created a PR. Okay. Now it's telling me to log in and set these things. Hmm. Hmm. Can you link me to the PR you created? Let's take a look at what you did, Claude. In my controllers, got a nice healthy and a timestamp and then we're dumping health and that's in API so it'll be it reckons API v1 I don't know if that's true does it reckon that or have I just made that up in my brain API health okay this looks great Jeez. So what I'm asking it to do now is go into the Coolify server and update the config. Look, it's doing it. Let's update the application. Uh, it's, it's set the path, enabled it, set it to pull 80, and we've still got the five seconds. So it's, it reckons it's done that now. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to merge it. That will kick off a deployment. So if I go into this, deployments, so that deployment's going because I've merged the PR. Let's have a look at the health check, API health. So it did the update, Is that's all fine, that's all running. So if I go into the deployments now and monitor this deployment, or it's just, it's not a thing. Okay, so some of this stuff sucks. Uh, it's a bad, it just needs updating, but like, let's have a look. Can, can you see it running? Okay, merged. Can you check the deployment? 
He's asking, would you like me to monitor deployment and let you know when it's complete? Is that possible? Can you do that? I've not set that up in the MCP. It's self-aware. You can't periodically check stuff, Cod. Thank you. You've done enough, mate. You know what? You've done enough. It's installing the NPM packages. The application is correctly configured. Let me check again in a moment. Would you like me to do that? Go on. Go on. I uh, wonder what's going on there. So we've had a bit of a fail, but mate, let's hide the debug logs. Come on, what's going on? It gets stuck on this bit. I'm asking it to take a look at the nixpacks.toml and see if it can improve the speed. Okay, so it's, bran it's branching out. It's gonna try and do some stuff. It's creating the file. In other news, HealthCheck URL is API Health, waiting for five seconds, one of 10, two of 10, return code, container is healthy. So it stopped, so it's done it, it's done it. So let's go back in here. So it's creating another PR. It's fixed it, it's created another PR. I wanna see what this has done. This is gonna have done a ton of stuff. But mate, like, I don't need the Coolify window open. I don't need the code base open. It's given me a link to the PR. Let's have a look at what you've done. Right, so yeah, this was disgusting. It's just done it all in a single thing. I mean, Claude, you've just earned your money for today. I'm gonna to merge that in. Check the deployment. I wanted to go and check the deployment status. Last time we had a little bit of an error from that. It's checking the application. Good news, we're unhealthy. So we started off unhealthy, but he's done a, last online was a few minutes ago. To look at PRs one and two. No mate, no mate, you're a good boy. Oh, one last, look at that. One message remaining until 1 p.m. as well. <sighs> Claude, you've done amazing, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Huh? Claude? Claude, are you okay? What are you doing, mate? Ah! What is this? What? Look at this number of points. I'm getting somebody else's response. Whoa, was that someone else's response? Look, uh, that was mad, but I'm gonna merge this in now. I'm gonna see this build. I'm gonna see my, spit, my, my look, well, optimization. So now this is completely hands off now, right? I could have it so it, it's crashing. I'd get the crash notification. The crash notification would put in a PR and let me know, look, this just happened. Here's the suggested PR. I can merge that in and then have it monitor the deployment. Look, this is amazing. I'm happy with this. I'm eventually gonna be completely hands off with um, these app developments. You just get them up and there's just no support left. It can do all the support for me. All right, let's go.